Hello and welcome viewers. You're watching In Depth with your host Kriti Mishra. The National Master Plan for Multimodal Connectivity in India or PM Gati Shakti was introduced to build world-class infrastructure in India in an integrated manner. The seamless connectivity for logistics and services between modes of transportation is made possible by multimodal connectivity. It will enable the last mile connectivity of transportation and shorten travel time for people. On the 75th Independence Day, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the PM Gati Shakti initiative during his address to the nation from the ramparts of the Red Fort. The National Master Plan for Multimodal Connectivity, launched on October 13, 2021, celebrated its third anniversary recently. This digital platform is designed to bring various ministries, including railways and roadways, to ensure integrated planning and coordinated execution of infrastructure projects. The initiative aims to provide seamless and efficient connectivity for the movement of people, goods and services across various modes of transport, thereby enhancing last mile connectivity and reducing travel time. PM Gati Shakti incorporates the infrastructure schemes of various ministries and state governments such as Bharat Mala, Sagar Mala, Inland Waterways, Rai and Land Ports and Udan. PM Gati Shakti incorporates The PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan has onboarded 44 central ministries and 36 states or UTs and a total of 1,614 data layers have also been integrated. To ensure data accuracy, key infrastructure ministries have finalized standard operating procedures for a three-tier system. SOPs for eight infrastructure ministries and 15 social sector ministries have been notified, with development continuing for other ministries and states and UTs. A milestone of assessing 208 big-ticket infrastructure projects worth 15.39 lakh crore rupees of various ministries adhering to PM Gati Shakti principles has been achieved. Additionally, 434 projects under three economic corridors of the Ministry of Railways have been evaluated and shared with the PMO. And they are Energy, Mineral and Cement Corridors, High Traffic Density Corridors and Rail Sagar. A district master plan portal is being developed to extend PM Gati Shakti to the district level. This portal will aid district authorities in collaborative planning, infrastructure gap identification and scheme implementation. A better version of this portal has already been created for 28 aspiration districts and user accounts were provided to these districts on September 18, 2024. Trial runs of the portal are ongoing with orientation programs in October 2024. The portals for all countries' districts will be developed in a phased manner and completed by March 31, 2025. Let's take a look at the key accomplishments under PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan. The PM Gati Shakti has resulted in numerous achievements across various sectors, significantly improving project planning, speed and execution. The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways planned over 8,891 kilometers of roads using NPM, while the Ministry of Railways used this to plan more than 27,000 kilometers of railway lines. Railways also accelerated the completion of final location surveys, completing 449 final location surveys in financial year 2022 compared to 57 in financial year 2021. The Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas streamlined the process of detailed route survey, reducing the time required to create reports from 6 to 9 months to just one day using electronic DRS. Using NMP principles, a 13 gigawatt renewable energy project from Leh in Ladakh to Kethal in Haryana achieved optimal alignment of the Green Energy Corridor for interstate transmission. Goa used the NMP platform to develop a disaster management plan for flood-prone areas along the Amona River. 
the uttar pradesh government employed the state master plan to identify locations for new schools in underserved areas gujarat planned its 300 kilometers coastal corridor which reduced the number of noc permissions required for clearance from 28 to 13 enhancing connectivity between four districts while boosting tourism the department of school education and literacy used the nmp portal to link pm shri schools with local industries for district specific skill training the ministry of health and family welfare identified internet shadow areas and map sites for new healthcare facilities the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship used it to identify suitable locations for new training institutes near economic clusters the ministry of rural development integrated schemes such as pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana for better asset planning and implementation the ministry of tribal affairs identified infrastructure gaps for particularly vulnerable tribal groups using the pm janman portal these accomplishments highlight the pm gati shakti's broad utility in improving planning efficiency and collaboration across various ministries and sectors sathiyo 2014 se pehle jab bhi main aap jaise sathiyo se baat kar raha tha to ek bahut badi shikayat aur aapko bhi purane din yaad honge ya kabhi aaj jaate honge to dekhte honge जहां भी देखो लिखा होता था वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस मैं किसी की आलोचना नहीं कर रहा लेकिन हमारे यहां होता यही रहा कि पहले कहीं सड़क बनती है फिर बिजली के लिए सड़क खोदी जाती है फिर पानी वाले पहुंचते हैं वो पानी फेर देते हैं फिर टेलीफोन वाले आते हैं वो कुछ और ही खड़ा कर देते हैं एक सड़क बजट खर्च हो रहा है काम खत्म नहीं हो रहा है यह मैंने सिर्फ एक उदाहरण दिया क्योंकि आपने अपने आंखों से देखा है और इसलिए होता है कि सरकारी विभागों का एक दूसरे के साथ न तो संवाद होता है और न ही जानकारियों का कोई तालमेल सब अपनी अपनी दुनिया बनाकर उसमें बैठे हुए हैं हर एक के पास रिपोर्ट कार्ड है कि मैंने इतनी सड़क बना दी कोई कह मैंने इतने तार डाल दिए कोई कह मैंने इतनी पाइप डाल दी लेकिन परिणाम वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस इन साइलोस को तोड़ने के लिए अब हमने पीएम गतिशक्ति इन नेशनल मास्टर प्लान बनाया है चारों तरफ उसकी तारीफ हो रही है हम हर डिपार्टमेंटल साइलोस को तोड़कर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर से जुड़े हर प्रोजेक्ट में सभी स्टेक होल्डर्स को एक ही प्लेटफॉर्म पर लेकर आए हैं अब सरकारें सभी विभाग अपने अपने हिस्से का काम एडवांस में प्लान कर रहे हैं इस नई अप्रोच ने डेवलपमेंट के कार्यों की स्पीड को बढ़ा दी है और स्केल भी बढ़ा दिया है इन द पास्ट देर वॉज डिफिकल्टी विद डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट नॉट कोडिनेटिंग वेल For example, a road would be built and another department would dig it up later for things like laying underground cables or gas pipelines, which caused a lot of inconvenience and resulted in being a waste of money. Now all the departments under the same roof must coordinate with each other, which will save considerable rework. The National Logistics Policy was launched on 17 September 2022 to boost India's economic growth by creating an integrated efficient and cost effective logistics network the policy aims to reduce logistics costs improve india's logistics performance index ranking to be among the top 25 countries by 2030 and promote data driven decision making implementation is driven by the comprehensive logistics action plan focusing on areas such as digital logistics system asset standardization human resource development state engagement and exim logistics the policy emphasizes training and capacity building efforts in collaboration 
with the Capacity Building Commission. Training modules are integrated with central and administrative training institutes through webinars, workshops and digital platforms. 26 states and UTs have aligned with the national logistics policy by notifying their state logistics policy to enhance focus on logistics in public policy. Unified Logistics Integrated Platform ULIP integrates 33 logistics related systems across 10 ministries promoting innovation. Currently, over 930 private companies are registered with 95 applications made live and 185 companies signing the NDAs. The ULIP also integrates GST data for end-to-end -end cargo tracking. Logistics Data Bank For tracking and tracing 100% of India's containerized exim cargo, the Logistics Data Bank has been developed. It uses RFID technology through Internet of Things, Big Data and Cloud-based solutions to provide real-time tracking of exim container movement in India. It is a single window, cloud-based logistics visualization solution which provides container movement tracking using only the container numbers from the ports to island, from the ports to inland container depots, container freight stations and across the port associated parking plazas, toll plazas and railways. PM Shakti Sanchar Portal Universal and equitable access to broadband services across the country, especially in rural areas, is one of the most important visions of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In line with PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan, Gati Shakti Sanchar Portal was launched for centralized right-of-way approvals on May 14, 2022. The Gati Shakti Sanchar Portal is a major reform brought into facility first rollout of telecom infrastructure. It is a centralized right-of-way portal that enables applicants such as telecom service providers, infrastructure providers and internet service providers to apply for approvals. As of October 11, 2024, 2.11 lakh applications have been approved. The portal is integrated with all 36 states and UTs and with relevant central ministries like Ministry of Railways, Road Transport and Highways, Environment, Forest and Climate Change and Ministry of Defence. 5G services were launched in India on 1st of October 2022. More than 13 crore subscribers have begun to use 5G services, making it the fastest rollout of 5G anywhere in the world. To further improve telecom connectivity in the country, government is implementing various schemes. A total of 41,160 mobile towers have been sanctioned with an outlay of 41,331 crore to provide 4G connectivity to about 55,000 villages. Scope of Bharat Net program has been expanded to connect all inhabited villages with an outlay of 1.88 lakh crore rupees. Well viewers, that's all we had for you in this edition. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Sunset TV. Goodbye for now from my side. To watch more programs of Sunset TV, subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like and share them.